Hi everybody, Paul Cameron here from SpeedUpMyJobSearch.com with a clip from our monthly Jobs Driven Networking Group, which meets in Wheaton, Illinois, every third Thursday. Let's take a look. He is the Senior Information Systems Manager, a Senior Information Manager at Navistar, not too far from here. And he's got an amazingly, uh, uniquely fit background for our meeting here today. He's you know, not only got an MBA, He's also got a, a bachelor's degree in computer science, but he also has a bachelor's degree in psychology, which is a wonderful fit for what we're trying to do here today. Everybody, hey, here's Jason. And here's what I'm gonna try to do. Have a seat, please. I had a meeting, uh, it was a little while ago, called Strategic Networking Conversations, about how to go into every networking conversation with a goal in mind. And not just your networking conversations, but also just every conversation that you could have when you're at Starbucks and you happen to bump into somebody and you start a conversation with them. Do you have a goal in mind when you're having that conversation? And if you, if you know what the desired outcome is, you can, you can have a greater impact on your overall search experience or your networking experience. I'm sorry to have my back to you here, Gary. Uh, the meeting went well. We got a lot of nods and, yeah, that's a good idea. We should do that. Uh, I, I just don't know how well it was received and if it's been implemented at all. And I think maybe that comes from not knowing how to do it or not seeing it in action. So what I would like to do here, right from the very beginning, I've got a, I've got a bunch of traits here. These are all directly from Jason's disk personality profile. So what I would ask you to do, if possible, is to not look back at what we're doing as we go here. And despite what you may see as reactions and things as we go along to pretend that's not happening. All right. So ideally, what I would like to do is just um, in terms of you know setting expectations and some guidelines for our conversation here is to we're just going to we're going to have a, a you know one-on-one -on -one meeting you know we've you know, I've done my homework on on everything that we're doing here and we'll have a seemingly casual conversation but hopefully everyone in here is going to be able to see that when you have a goal in mind you can lead the conversation and achieve all of your objectives within that conversation okay and this is not this is none of this is rehearsed. Absolutely, none of this is, is rehearsed as we go. So, and I know that Jason will be able to, to keep up with us and, and hang sure. on to everything. The one thing that I would ask, as we try to keep this as a one-on-one -on -one meeting, uh, if possible, is Jason, according to your profile, tends to respond to a lot of questions positively. He likes to respond to questions uh, as we go. And one thing that I have noticed about you as we've gone along is that anytime I have a question of, hey, how did you do that? You know, how you walked out and you got this thing done or you, you noticed this thing happened, how did that happen? You always know exactly how you did that. I don't know if you know this about yourself, but it's like you're doing the thing and you're taking notes about the thing in your mind. So it's very easy for you to teach what you just did, uh, which is, uh, Pretty, pretty incredible in, in my view. So my hope is that you'll be open to taking lots of conversation, lots of questions as we go in our one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation. So what I'd also like to do is explain to everyone what this whole personality thing is. So we've got kind of a two-part thing here. So I've got a, a few questions lined up to ask you, but if you can help me to stay on track uh, and maybe with 10 minutes left, I don't know how good your eyes are if you can see the clock you've got one right there excellent so that we've got some uh, enough time to explain what this is and walk everybody through how effective this can be uh, to go from there and if we do this right amongst all of us here we can hopefully uh, I don't know invent something new you know and, and come up with a new way to network in that if you know how someone else prefers to communicate you can speak in a style that they will appreciate and have a greater impact, which is why we have all those sheets out for everyone else except yours so they know how to approach you. Uh, and hopefully we can help everybody improve their networking skills as we go. So first question, 
now you're in a senior leadership position, the one that you wanted to get into. My dream job right now. In his dream job right now. Okay, so how, what, what would you recommend or share with us that's different about your perspective now from, from then, I guess. Tell us, tell us about that. From, from that initial foray in watching and learning some of the things about networking, uh, I forced myself to be more outgoing, learn more about the people, uh, especially the people that I saw repeatedly coming to these meetings, uh, I felt more comfortable to approach them, right? Uh, there were people that clearly helped the, the actual official facilitators. Uh, they helped them out. Those were the first people I approached. Um, because they tended to be a little more outgoing. So they helped me to get out of my shell. Okay. Um, that's the biggest thing that I've learned from, from going to it though, is uh, just simply how to start up that conversation. And if you don't know how to start, go to somebody that you know constantly starts conversations. Right. And I kind of let them lead a little bit, picked up what they were doing, learned from them, and then took that same skill set and applied it to other meetings and then eventually became one of those people you see at every single meeting um, okay. and it's helped out. Okay, so you specifically paid attention to who was helping the facilitators? Yes. And then approached them first, just kind of a logical approach and yeah. went forward from there. They were the most approachable person in the room, typically. Okay, okay, that, that makes a lot of sense and smart way to approach it. Uh, the job that I actually found uh, I was at a school dance for my my uh, then 11-year-old or 10-year-old, and I just struck up a conversation with one of the other parents that I'd known for a while. He knew I was in a job search, and I casually dropped that I was targeting or trying to find somebody that worked at Navistar. So my goal of the conversation was to find somebody that knew somebody that worked at Navistar. Um, that he put me in contact with him, and but actually he had a conversation with me for about a half hour over the phone okay. and then put me in contact with my boss. My boss would have never seen my resume without that interaction happening. happening. There was a meeting that we had here. You stopped in to, to pay attention to us after you landed your position <laughs> to let us know that you had landed. And, and I apologize, Melody, but I have shared this story so <laughs> many times and it's about you and I'm going to share it again. <laughs> so it, it's, uh, and this, this is one of those things where it, uh, it blew me away. He came in to share why he helped you out specifically. Uh, and I, I need to kind of emotionally uh, detach myself from this type of a situation here. Uh, if you want to share the story, why did, why did you come and what, what was the story that you shared? So it's funny that I have both Melanie and Pierre here because Pierre is somebody else who I'd, I'd, it was very helpful to be in my search and remember him. Uh, John I'd recognize as well. Um, well, Melanie, at, uh, at several of Sarah's meetings, you know, one of the first few, she was the, the timekeeper, right? And there was one of them where Sarah literally looked and she's like, well, where's Melanie? I need my timekeeper today. And then she showed up like two minutes later. And to me, that, that's somebody who's, who's eager, eager to give back. That's somebody I want to work with, right? People that are wanting to contribute to everyone else's benefits. And sure, she's there to get, you know, help for herself, but that doesn't mean you can't help other people in the process. Mm -hmm. Those are the people I want to work with. So when she reached out to me saying, hey, there's a position at your company, not only did I you know, type out the little form that I've got to fill in and go send it over, I literally walked up to the hiring manager and said, hey, but, and I've done this twice now. <laughs> um, walked up to, to the hiring manager and said, I've got this person, I've never worked with them but all of my interactions, they've been very helpful to everybody around them. This is the kind of person I want to work with. You should see if they're a fit for your team, if their skills are a match for your team. Prior to that. And also, whenever I apply for a job without Jason's nudge in the, in the process, I get immediately rejected. So your input is essential. Thank you. And it came from the way you conducted yourself at these meetings mm -hmm. from someone who never spoke to you, mm -hmm. right? Is everybody, is everybody feeling that? Yep. The way that you, you interact, other people are watching that you have no idea that they're watching. They could be the person who gets you hired at the next position based on what you did or the person who makes sure you don't get hired at that next position, you know, because that's, that's also being done. Ooh, make sure you don't mm, stay away there. Uh, that person's going to complain all day long, and they're going to talk about all their you know, issues or, or whatever it is. So just something to, to keep in mind. I, I just 
absolutely admire that. And, and I don't want Pierre to feel left out here. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't know the Pierre story. So yeah, Pierre also had reached out to me. Um, and I'd listened and actively listened to him speak about his background and interests. And I know when you had a job in, was it North Carolina mm -hmm. recently? Um, you know, I've, I became interested in Pierre because of how he presented himself. Again, somebody I would like to work with. And he called me up because we had a, a position that was open that was similar to what he was looking for. And I actually convinced him it probably wasn't a good match for him. It turns out it would have been a horrifically bad match for you. <laughs> like, I'm glad and you didn't I go for it. Instantly. <laughs> I didn't even think yeah. up for five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that was good. I appreciate that. But, yeah. but I encourage you to reach out again. <laughs> I, I will. I will. But from the time you get in, it's it, it's everything. Everything goes through. If only every manager we would work for has this <laughs> approach, right? So, and I hope that this has been a uh, an enjoyable conversation for you. So, while we've been doing this, I've got all these traits so get a look as we go on. Yep, you can look at. <laughs> and I'm going to go back as we go because here's what I've been doing. This conversation, while it seems kind of casual mm -hmm. as we go. We just finished by, if only every manager was just like that. <laughs> we were talking about pros and cons, and then I explained how my product worked, and mm -hmm. I took time to thoroughly explain it as best I could, and then I reinforced with another compliment in there, and emotionally detached from the Melanie and the Pierre situation, and making decisions on that logical, so you approach those people who are reaching out to the facilitators, and um, give you plenty of time to explain your answer, and how can we do this differently going forward to change networking, and potentially improve everyone's networking skills and invent something while we're here together. And I'm going to make sure I'm giving you why I'm doing this before we get to the bottom line mm -hmm. of all of this that we're doing. If you can keep us on track on when we're going to talk <laughs> about this stuff. And if everybody can ask lots of questions as we go, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one meeting, reinforce our confidence in his ability because yep. he's got that psychology background and the computer background. Obviously, we've done our homework prior to this, and I started by giving our expectations and guidelines. Yeah. So it seems very casual in what we're doing here, but everything was in a direction that was a goal yeah. uh, behind it. So I hope this was helpful for everyone to see. I know we went just a little bit over time here. Uh, if you did not get one of these personality assessments and you want one, let me know. Uh, a while back, you had, it was a one sheet that you take into the interview where half of it's mm, there. Yeah. Half of it's from the company and half of it's questions and such. Yeah. Um, incorporating this concept with that, that I literally use that mm -hmm. from for the three jobs that I had offers at at the really? end of my search. I used it on all three jobs, and it was extremely effective, uh, especially my interview with Navistar. Um, but to incorporate this, because I was able to see the three people that were on the panel interviewing me, they they told me it was a star-based interview uh, for yeah. it, so I knew what to expect going in. But being able to incorporate their personality styles into the line of questioning would have just given me that extra little edge up. Fascinating. It would have been it would have been great. The interview interview influencer doc is what you're referring yes. to. Yeah. Fascinating. Uh, Jason, thank you so much for doing this. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's over. Thank you so much. I hope that was helpful for you. And please check out the rest of our YouTube channel for more tips and strategies to help you with your job search. Just look for speed up my job search, all one word, or use the link on your screen now. Now, if you'd like to join us at our next meeting, just go to drivestaff.com slash JDNG for details. Each month, we cover a different aspect of networking to help you sharpen your networking skills and to help you build your network with the other attendees. Now, if the location or the time doesn't work for you, we do have an online version available as well, and you can still network with us in our online private member forum. I'd love to meet you at the next one, so I hope you can make it. Thanks for watching.